And welcome back to Havisham. We've just built those mines here now and I need to be careful about the distribution of the iron mine. The thing is we don't have any statistics available as far as I can see. Um, I haven't seen anything yet that would resemble any statistics. Um, if you know where to find them, please tell me. I don't. I haven't find them, found them. So what we need to do is we need to guess kind of of how much iron mine we need, iron ore, and how much steel we need. So those two need to be fuller than now because we need the steel for the sewing machines and the bicycles and we need the iron for our canned food that is running low now as well. And we have two more iron mines here and they're both producing quite a lot, so every 15 seconds. That is good, of course. We can even increase their output by let's say 20% without actually reducing anything here. Can we do more? Yeah, let's let's increase it by 50%. Okay, so that we get even more iron out of that. And we do have coal here as well. So we can just increase them and we are not losing anything really. So we have enough coal and iron here so we can build two furnaces. Because one furnace produces every 30 seconds, so two of them take care of one iron mine. And we leave the other one to produce iron mine for the canned food. I think that is a good strategy. And then we can use the flying dodo frigate. To move steel, let's say two times, so 100 tons and iron ore, 100 tons to Sleepy Hollow. Flying Dodo. There it is. And as a... F oh, it's a frigate, I'm sorry. It's not this one here. We need a clipper, so the castaway. I don't see that though on the map. So, castaway, let's accept this route. Where is this ship? Is it in the new world? Little fish are careful to be swimming. I can't find it. Perhaps it's on the in the new world and it takes some time before it arrives here, but it doesn't matter. We have the production up and running now. And we should produce enough steel and also enough. And what is important or what is strange here, I can just increase productivity here and it doesn't really reduce happiness. My people seem to be happy. So we have a content population right now. That is good. And over here, as far as I can see, they don't have any churches. So we, oh, they are ha unhappy. So beer or rum would be a good thing to increase happiness here. That would be an option. Let's have a look at the beer. So it only needs, no, it needs bricks as well. It needs grain and hops. Both of them we have in your hollow. So we could do that to increase the happiness of some of our people here. Especially, I think, the workers. No, the artisans, okay. So they're lacking church and variety theater. So let's build two of them right away. Let's start with the church. There's the church and let's have a look at the theater. Oh, there's space for the theater, very nice. And the variety theater. Both of them, of course, extremely expensive. But at least we won't get any riots in the future. So they're content again. Very nice. Our balance is red and we are close to zero with our money. So let's have a look what, what is missing. Sewing machines looking good now. Canned food is still going down. And the, we don't have any iron ore here, so I think it's because of that. So we just have to wait a few minutes. Um, everything else is looking good, so, so let's upgrade a few more of our houses, of our people. And on the other side here, there's still workers. So let's get some more artisans here. 
to the other side of the island. And we can also upgrade a few more farmers here. Very nice. Now we have artisans on both sides of the map of the island. And timber is out now. I think I read... Yeah, we have one timber here. There's timber coming. A schooner of us has one. So let's create more of them. Oh, we don't have any timber. I'm sorry for that. The schooner is bringing in some timber, a hundred tons of that. And we have a positive balance again because we just got more people, of course. The ones on the other side, though, are not that happy. They want a church and a variety theater as well. So, I'm, of course, I'm going to give it to them. The church and variety theater coming up soon. Let's get the theater first. Oh, I'm missing some steel here. Let's get the church first. It's the cheaper one anyway. So that increases some happiness again. And the theater is more important for them. But we need more steel for that, so we need to wait a bit. There's a full bread delivery coming in now with 200 tons of bread. Those clippers really look impressive though. The way they travel around. There was a lot of bread now. Let's upgrade a few more houses. Why are they not able to upgrade here? Oh, there's a school missing on this side here of the river. So what we can do, of course, we can build one. Let's build one here. And it needs steel as well. Let's just wait for more steel. And perhaps we could start with more houses over here. So there's still a lot of, of space free here. And we could just move that zoo up here. So it's far away. And have another district here full of houses. Perhaps we can do that to get some more money. The balance is positive but not very high. And we're low on money as well. So I could sell like two of my warships. Stations. Let's sell two of them. That's 50,000 each. That, that would be nice, I think. And perhaps we can take a mission for some money again. So I deliver a quest and we would get 27,000. So let's do some quests again. Oh, 30 tons of fur coats we would need to deliver. Let's take this big here, this big ship here. It's on its way anyway, so to be to being sold, so we can just take some fur coats with it to deliver. Thirty tons. We should have that. Yeah, we have enough. Thirty tons, and let's deliver that to Sir Archibald Blake up here. I hope it reaches that in time, because those ships are really slow. That is that for enough money, and we also have some more wood again, so let's get a clipper, because I need a clipper in the new world. To 
build up my caoutchouc uh, production for the bicycles and the other thing that we could do now is the spectacle production so we're going to have the factory here on sleepy hollow but we're going to have the brass smeltery somewhere else in this case i think in nickel buy we have enough sand and enough glass that is not the problem we just need those brass smelteries and for that i'm going to use i think my imperial command ship to deliver some windows There's the castaway ship, and it's being attacked by one of his last fighting ships. I don't care that much. At all. Uh, hopefully it's not destroying my ship. It looks eager to destroy my, my clipper, but clippers are, are cheap anyway. That wouldn't be the problem, I can just build more, which I'm doing. But we definitely want to uh, finish those two production chains now. Um, the spectacles and the bicycles. So let's just wait for the ships to arrive. And there's the ship now. Just arrived with enough building materials that we need for our next production chain. That is for the spectacles and that is the brass smeltery. So we still can build a sink mine here and a copper mine. Both of them are available on this island here. And then we place another warehouse there. So let's have a look. So we have the um, copper mine and sink mine on other islands as well. And they only need 30 seconds each. So we have two sink mines as far as I know now. So that means I can build four brass smelteries because it takes a minute for a full production of the brass. So we can do that here. I think. I think this is a good... Um, spot here he demands another ceasefire and for 140,000 uh, I say no to that so that takes minus four and I'm just going to request a ceasefire again I need to pay 13,000 and that increases me by five so it does increase me quite a lot and I can try to flatter him successfully and I could also try to no I'm not going to flatter her and she needs a ceasefire as well for only 2,800. I mean, that is a ridiculous low amount of money and we get 5% plus with the reputation. Okay, what is happening? One of my harbors is under attack, but I think there was, were her pirates, yeah. The pirate ships that were, were attacking me. So there's no problem here, no war. And we can build happily our production here. So with four of those brass smelteries. Four of them. And we use the Brilliant 2 to create a new trade route for that. So let's create a more complex route now. And this Brilliant 2... Hmm, how should I do that? So I know we produce some copper in Sleepy Hollow and we produce zinc in New Hollow. So I think... He just... No, let's keep it simple. Let's say he only takes those two ports and he gets copper. Quite a lot of that too. In The problem is if copper is full at some point, it would congest the trade route here. So we have to keep this as simple as possible. So he takes two times copper to um, Havisham and Sink two times and he unloads everything in Havisham now I just need to find him the brilliant two that is okay so that is one trade route that we can use on that I'm not I'm not doing anything else because if um, at some point Havisham would be full of copper and zinc he couldn't take any um, brass with him to Sleepy Hollow so I try to keep this like that. So one trading route for the building material or for the raw materials and one trade route for brass. So we have another trade route again with Havisham and Sleepy Hollow. And this time he takes 
press. I just need to find that now. There it is. Let's say two times. There won't be more than that. Right? And he's going to unload that in Sleepy Hollow. And we should have yeah another clipper here. So that is the brass trade rod. Two trade rods for this task. I could simply go to press. The spectacle fac factory doesn't um, reduce attractiveness and it doesn't pollute. So we can have that here in the electricity area to produce even more. So that is that is my goal. So we have that now and now we can produce the spec or we can build the spectacle factories. We still have some space here. Let's remove those tracks here. For that I need to get rid of one more building. We're doing it like that. So now we can get rid of those tracks here. Whoops. And those tracks. And then it's working like that and we can have some or one factory here for brass and another one up here as soon as we have enough steel that is and so we can have three of them let's have three of them we do have enough glass here and we do have now enough brass. So the sink is being transported down Sleepy Hollow. And we still have one trade rod that delivers the sink. Is that right? We should have that somewhere. That delivers sink from New Hollow to Sleepy Hollow. Because we produce some sink there. But I don't see it. So it should be full, I think, of sink. Yes, so this is going up here. So there's a uh, not enough... There should be another ship here. So this clipper here, I don't know what he's doing. Is he actually on a trade route? Right now he's stuck. I don't think that he's on a trade route. So we have one clipper here that we can use. So um, there's the sink that we transport from New, uh, New, New Hollow. And I think we also have the fur. What are my ships doing? I didn't order them to attack that harbor. Even though we could actually take this harbor, as far as I can see. But I didn't order them to. Those ships are a bit, well, shady to me. They're AI. So, new hollow. So we have sink, and what else could we take? The cattle meat, for example. Or the fur pelts. Let's take the fur pelts. So we can save two more charter routes here. One and two. And we can create a new trade route from New Hollow to Sleepy Hollow with fur. So two times fur. And two times sink. And that should be enough. And then we take this clipper, wherever it is. We should have one more. There it is. And this clipper now is transporting. Okay, that is good. And we still have one more um, clipper here, the Guzzler. <laughs> That's a uh, funny name. So this Guzzler here, what, what should we do with that one? We have one clipper already here in the new world now. That should be close now to our La Isla. I don't see it though. Yeah, I have no idea what she's doing there. Look at that. This this clipper here, well, he's going to be destroyed. I didn't order him for anything. So for some reasons, this clipper here that is transporting the brass and the brass Look at the way that he actually took the route. So that doesn't make sense at all to me. I don't know why they're doing this. So now we have a, a purpose for the Guzzler. Hopefully he's smarter than that. So we take him again for this route. This one here has got, hasn't gotten a ship yet. Guzzler. And let's hope he's smarter. 
Let's see what, what route you would take. They should, there is no way they could get here though. So I don't know why the ship came from this direction there. But, well, hopefully the next one is smarter. Let's have a look at the storage here. We have some weapons, that is good. We have a lot of coal that we could transport to Sleepy Hollow if we don't need it. We have sink here now, perfect. And we should have some brass now as well. There it is, yeah. So we do have some brass that's being produced now. And the brass smeltery. Let's increase the productivity of those buildings here by 27%. And that should be working now for the brass. And I just want to wait now for my, for my ships and see what they do here. Yeah, and look at that. That is the normal route they should take. You can rely on us. Flying Dodo? I have no idea what he's doing again. I think something with... No, he's not even on a trade route. What is he doing there? I'm confused. New so the Halibut, he's taking the steel. There is the Grizzler, the Guzzler. And what is he doing? Flying Dodo. Oh, he's a frigate. Okay. So that is fine. Now I've already had two cup of coffees. I don't need one more. And the cotton fabric should be good up here as well. Perfect. So everything is looking good now. And there's another bug here. So every time... I don't know what happens, but these sliders here, they go lower and lower with time. It's very strange. I wondered this in the beginning why this is happening. But the slider is going down and that results in my goods being sold more and more and then I'm lose um, my storage with that. So I don't know, look at that, I, I had it up here actually because that is where the balance should be. Especially for bread there shouldn't be anything. No idea why he does that, look at that, it was up, up there where the red one is now. So I always keep it up here. Canned food is still a problem, though. I don't know why. And brass should be here now in Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, there we have the first brass. Perfect, so that is an important milestone. So glasses can be produced soon. That is one. And the other one was the bicycles. So let's go to the new world. And we should have a frigate here. Or a clipper somewhere. I send it there. To this location and I hope I didn't lose it the new world is tricky though I think I've lost it I sent a clipper here for my couchuk there's one but that is just getting some cotton fabric But yeah, I think I lost the other clipper. No problem, I'm c I can send another one right away. And I'm going to do that. And then in the next episode, we start with the Kauchuk production here in Tombola. And then we can also uh, finish the bicycle production for that. That's going to be important. Very nice. So as the last thing in this episode, let's upgrade a few more houses. So one a few up there. And perhaps over here a few more to artisans over there and some here and then we can also upgrade a few more of those farmers like that to get some more taxes because we need them obviously that is that and perhaps while we're at it, let's upgrade at least one more artisan building to engineers. So let's do this one here. And this one here. And this one here. We still have that. 
and this one here, perfect. So a few more engineers, so that we have some progress here with our population, because we desperately need that. And electricity is actually a demand, as far as I can see. And light bulbs, so bicycles is not even a demand, it's a happiness demand, but it's not a need. So we have the glasses now, we already have a few of them. That is right, so glasses is already being fulfilled now for my population, for the engineers. And electricity would be another thing, so let's see how we can put electricity to my people, because I do have it already, of course. So I think we need to have those power plants here in the middle of my town. I'm eager to see how that works. See you in the next episode.